Hi, good afternoon all. This is just Adam from the Earwax Specialist here. Um, so here we go. This is one of our patients who's come in with deeply impacted wax. Um, you'll notice, first and foremost, this is always the more tricky to have a wax to remove. Incredibly sticky. One of the biggest problems you usually find with this type of wax is that it keeps blocking the cannula. And we're using a standard 2mm zolna here. Um, this is just impacted wax just behind that second bend I think the patient here on this instance used a cotton bud just to push it that little bit further back and as you can see we're trying to remove the first bits here now and trying to get that adequate suction we need now we're using a uh, state-of-the-art sort of uh, equipment here in the form of a um, handheld endoscope with a probably the best acuity that you're going to get in terms of uh, the field the field of view inside the canal so you'll notice a little bit of keratosis going on there as we move the wax away from that drum with this type of wax you often find that you have to take your time be patient certainly can't rush it you will find that you'll have to go in it quite a few times it's not the type of wax that's going to come out in just one go so again, the endoscope end often gets a little bit dirty. So re-clean, go back in. Um, here we go. As we end, always trying to find just that corner which will allow you to remove the greatest amount of wax. Um, usually you find that attacking the canal walls is always the best way of removing that deeply impacted wax in a second you'll start to see the first part of that drum just being exposed of course i'm being incredibly careful you have to always be careful with the patient always advise them what's going on and counsel them as you're sort of in their ear with the suction cannula you often find it's a very sensitive part of the ear so you'll find there might be the odd twitch from time to time. But just keep the patient nice and calm, nice and settled. I've just left the cavity for a second, give the patient a break. And I'm back in again, just trying to get my view sorted here, just so I can remove that effectively. So again, you can see incredibly sticky wax and we take bits and pieces away and there there you see the first part of that membrane there's the eardrum just been exposed so this sticky wax was completely on that drum taking away its compliance so again you gotta be very very careful it's quite deeply impacted wax and, and naturally with a pair of three and a half mag loops it's always going to be difficult to remove something like this um usually i wouldn't do this without a video endoscope or at least uh, a set of loops which are at least five mag here we go there's a little bit of a twitch there from the patient so you've got to be very very gentle there's not much space in there and there we go just taking it away you can see all that sticky wax coming away now from that drum a little bit bumpy in there as well which means that sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get the view that you want especially around a corner or a crevice so you have to be particularly careful there we go that's been removed from the drum now so we're just removing the rest of the debris along the cavity it's not always important to remove absolutely everything um, it's not necessary a little bit of wax left in the cavity it's not a problem and we're going to remove that last little piece and this is the piece where you're really going to see how fragile that drum actually is and what a thin membrane it is and how careful you actually have to be as i remove that last piece of wax from the drum you'll feel or sorry not even feel but certainly see the retraction of the pocket there just give it a second as we go in just there you saw that drum 
move ever so slightly you'll just stand so this is the reason why you've got to be so careful and have the right type of equipment especially when you're doing wax removal off the eardrum and that was uh, case study one thank you